Hello everyone, thank you for coming. My name is Ian. This video is about the initial setup of the Tresor Model T crypto wallet and the Shamir backup. If you're looking for something specific about the Tresor Model T wallet, check out my other videos. Each video explains something specific, like the initial setup to the security of your device with a microcard. So if you're interested, let's get it done. Congrats on getting your new Trezor Model T wallet. It's time to set up the Trezor suite. Go to trezor.io slash start. Download the software, install it, go through the prompts and get ready. We're going to do the initial setup and we're going to create a Shamir backup. Not a standard backup, but a Shamir backup. On the welcome screen, click on set up Trezor. It will take you to another screen. Just click continue for now. Now create a new wallet or restore one from backup. Create new wallet is your selection and do a Shamir share backup. Click on create a Shamir backup and go to your transfer wallet. Click on the green button to acknowledge that you are creating a Shamir backup. After clicking on create backup, it takes you to a screen where you have uh, to acknowledge you should never take a picture of your backup seat. You should check your backup before sending money and to keep your backup secured and never share it with anyone. Click the three boxes to acknowledge you understand. Click begin backup. On the next screen, it will ask you to set the number of shares, uh, which can be all the way up to five. In this particular example, we're going to set three, which means I'm going to have three sets of 20 words each. On the next screen, you set up the threshold, which would be the number of shares that are required in order to recover your wallet. For this particular case, we're going to set it to two. That means if you lose one, you can still recreate your wallet. Just to clarify, the standard backup creates just one set of phrases. If you lose it and someone recovers it, they can recreate your wallet and steal your coins. If you create a Shamir backup, then you have a set of phrases. If you lose one set, they still need two sets, so you're still protected. Next, on the Trust Model T wallet, you have a cautionary note indicating that you should never make a copy of your recovery shares and never upload them online. Uh, click on I understand to continue. On the next screen of your Trust Model T, it comes up with a recovery share number one. It gives you a set of phrases for the Shamir backup. In this particular case, you will have three sets of 20. This is the first set. Write it down. Once you complete writing the first 20 phrases on the first share, it will ask you to verify it. In this particular case, it asks to select word three of 20. It will ask you something similar. You go to your paper where you wrote the 20 phrases and you will select the one it's asking. You will click on the correct one and it will test you similarly for a couple of more times. Once that's complete, it will prompt you to create the next share. You write them down again, go through the same process. In this particular example, we did three. So we're gonna do the same to three shares to complete this process. Upon successfully completing all the shares and verifying them, it will ask you to continue. You finished successfully, so click the green button to continue. Once you complete the backup, it will ask you to continue to create a pin to secure your Tresor Model T wallet. So go ahead and click on continue to pin. The next uh, screen is telling you to set the pin. Click on that. And you go to your Tresor Model T wallet to set up the pin. Once you set it up, click OK to continue and you have your pin set up. After that, you do to you activate the coins you are going to have. If you have becomes, click on that. Make sure you enable the a Tor, which is a more secure connection. Click on continue and your setup is complete. In addition, you can edit the name of your Tresor, any name you wanna use, and you can change the icon or figure that comes up on the screen of the Tresor Model T. And this concludes the, uh, the setup. However, you can go one step further. You can create a hidden wallet, which add an additional security layer. The phrase you create here will be the phrase you need in order to access your coins, which means that you, even if people find your, your backup phrases and recreate the wallet, they still don't have your hidden wallet. Hence, they won't be able to get your coins. So create a phrase, 
make sure you write it down, follow the instructions on your transfer screen, and uh, click the green button. Once you do that, it will check to see whether or not you have a wallet, because it is the first time you're creating this. It's going to come up asking you again to write a phrase. This is just to make sure you're not uh, putting the wrong uh, passphrase. So put the same passphrase again, click on confirm passphrase, and it will get you to your wallet. And this is it for the initial setup of the Tresor Model Tip Crypto Wallet and the Shamir Backup. If you like it, let me know. If you could, please subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching.